Mitä täällä hyppii oikein? Vesikäärmeen näköisiä, mutta niillä on käpälät jala jalat. What a lovely little island this is. The air is almost dewy. Quite different from the sands that I'm used to. Ain't that right, Unu? Ah, <laughs> yes. This dragon frog is my boon companion. We've been together since he was barely an ember breathing froglet. What's this? About my Unu? Ah, not a chance. For the rest of my time on Galen, Unu won't leave my side. Perhaps I'll carry him on my head. Or in my pocket. Hmm, no. These britches would burn too easily. You have our thanks. Here, take this. My Unu is safe and well thanks to you. I almost wish they had gotten their grubby hands on him. Unu has left some nasty burns to mark this discretion. <laughs> I'm the only one he doesn't spit flames at, you see. What a sight that would have been. We'll continue our respite until we're called back to our duties in Hammerfell. Worry not. I won't let Unu out of my sight so long as we remain here. I've come to quite like this island, and Unu seems fond of the taste of salt water. <laughs> okay. He may not look it, but Unu is a key component to our business endeavors. None would dare pull one over on me with the looming threat of third-degree burns nipping at huh. the heels. <laughs> and well, it doesn't hurt that he's quite adorable. Hmm, I have my suspicions. Unu and his kind are native to Hammerfell. He may be the first dragon frog to set foot on Galen. And I mean, look at him. It's no surprise that he's caught an envious eye or two. I could put him in a carrier cage, though I can't imagine he'd enjoy that. Perhaps I should enroll him in a training program. Ensure that he'll be prepared in an emergency situation. A program led by me, of course. What do you think, Unu? Ha. Huh. Frog tender Jack. Phoenix Moth Terugeset. Right. I think I'd see this one day. Estella. Think Ifre it's you. I need someone I can trust. The Elder Tide ran afoul of the Path Trader Firesong and their parasitic dread sails in the area. I'm doing what I can to help their wounded. Light. You look like you have news. What is it? That's unexpected. We normally don't get involved with wars and politics. But the fire song started this. So I guess that makes it a druid problem. Look, we're practically surrounded by the fire song and dread sails out here. I could use your help. We need to light the beacon that will gather every stone lord druid on Galen to Glimmertarn. However, the dread sails grabbed the Everflame torch in a recent raid on the village. He put the other that enchanted torch to ignite the beacon. Yeah, I don't want to pitää taas hakea. The dread sails have a beachhead at Broken Ore Cove. Just northeast of here on the shore. Retrieve the Everflame torch and meet me at Vale's Bluff to the west. That's where we need to go to light the beacon. Mä muistaisin, että tämmöstä, tämmöstä tehtävää on aikaisemminkin tehty. Head to Broken Ore Cove and retrieve the Everflame torch. There's a path to the east that leads down to the shore. Then meet me at the beacon at Vale's Bluff. Be careful. Our enemy is as thick as weeds once you leave the safety of this village. I think so. But I lost track of Free when the Elder Tide started Aha, the Free on I'm sure they found somewhere safe to hold up. Let's trust in Free. We can check on them after we light the beacon. The beacon is used in times of danger to alert the Stone Lord Druids spread across the island and summon them back to Glimmer Tarn. The enchantment contained in the Everflame Torch allows the beacon's light to be seen from anywhere on Galen. Many, many seasons ago. I was so young I barely remember it. I recall being scared. There was some sort of rabid creature roaming the northern half of the island. Anyway, it's rarely used and only in extreme emergencies. I think this counts. I've helped the worst of the wounded. Most of them are more shaken than they are hurt. 
but I doubt they would have survived if they hadn't made it to Glimmer Tarn. I'm a druid, a steward of nature, not a damn waiter. Why doesn't she understand that? This squirrel is accusing me of robbing her out of house and home. Can you imagine the gall? Accusing me after all I've done for her? Talk. I can barely get a word in to defend myself. Then again, she's never been a very good listener. I don't know why I'm surprised. I started leaving out seeds and nuts for her after she lost her mate in an owl attack. But it's been months now, and I never once got a thank you, so I stopped. And now her tail's all in a puff. To her, I guess that counts as stealing. <laughs> the beacon's ready. Do you have the torch? It's worse than I thought. I saw more than my fair share of bodies on the way here. I'm sure you did too. If we don't hurry, those poisonous thorns will have the numbers to overwhelm Glimmer Tarn. Blight, of course. Why else surround us? Why else steal the Everflame Torch? At least they haven't made it to the beacon. It's ready. It will call the Stone Lord to Glimmer Tarn like a songbird guiding them home. Did you get the torch? Good. Then go ahead and ignite the beacon. Hurry, before any of those Dreadsails spot us. It's done. Let's head back to Glimmer Tarn. Okay, so again, and tuli. For war. Let's head back to Glimmer Tarn. I need to give the druids instructions and make preparations to depart for Vastir. Be on your guard. The trees hide many evils. The dread sails and fire song get bolder by the moment. That this is on a zone. Good quality there. Just dress guard. You almost got it, Marwin. Try again. Tänä kuin klimmer tarnia, mutta toisella puolella joke. Okei, eli se on tämmönen kohtuullisen iso paikka. Täällä on kans näitä vartijoita. Ah, Druidkin, thank you for assisting Laurel. I spoke to Elek, and he agreed to bring his elder tide to help defend Bastyr. So I made my way here to lead my own people to this city. But first, we must attend to the matter of the sacred seed. No, me tase either. I'd like you and Druid Laurel to make sure the seed and Free are all right. Laurel believes Free took it to Cloage, an old cave they visited often since coming here. We had mostly forgotten about the cave, but Free seems drawn to the place. By Ephraim the Green, I can rally my people and the Elder Tide who seek refuge here. I need you and Laurel to check on Free and the Seed. With the Dread Sails and Fire Song scouring the area, it's only a matter of time before they're discovered. Plowage is just to the east. Please hurry. If the Fire Song find that cave, 
They'll stop at nothing to capture free and our sacred seed. The beacon has been ignited. I must give our druids time to make the trek from all points on the island. Plus, we have weapons to gather, supplies to pack. Don't worry. We'll get to the city before the attack begins in earnest. This is Stone Lord territory. My people know paths and trails that should allow them to avoid most of our enemies. And if all else fails, they know how to fight. That's why Stefan asked for our assistance in the coming battle. Not a great deal, unfortunately. It may have had some significance in the past, but now it's just an abandoned, overgrown cave. No one paid it much mind until Free arrived at the village. You know, I never had the opportunity to ask. Free did love to explore the place, though. Took Druid Laurel along a few times, I believe. Perhaps she can tell you more. Laurel, I'll meet you at Cloridge. Sure it's a cave, fine. almost directly... Begin gathering your belongings. We'll make for Vastir once everyone has arrived. You know, I've read about this place. Amazing. Yeah, fire song on. Get us to Baikala. Tony, let's talk. So dos. Light. I saw a group of dread sails in Fire Song enter the cave just as I arrived. Uh huh. Okay. Not sure if they spotted Free or simply got curious, but this isn't good. We need to get in there. Free and the Seed are in danger. Not that I'm aware of. There are some druid carvings and such, but I haven't had a chance to study them. The whole place is overgrown with vegetation. The cave did fascinate Free, though. Something kept drawing them back here. A few times, yes. I'd try to clean up a little while Free looked around. Sometimes they'd sit and meditate for long stretches. When we find them, this time I'm going to ask what that was all about. Now let's go help Free. Miksi tänne ei enää mennä? Free cleared out a lot since I was last here. That, or the fire song has been tearing things down. Wait, Vines covered that section before. Is that... Free? And those are weirds around them. What does it mean? It do you think free in men is with that? theory on it like say that the Bretonian druid is trying to make a new torn. Look, another marking. We need to examine it. Are those? Yes, the sacred seeds. Column. And free, growing them into a crown, a staff, and a gauntlet. Ah! Let's keep looking. Crown staff and gauntlet. Oh. Tälle ei saa olla jos sun tarinaa, niin ei saa tulla heti niin kuin joku taistelu. Se on niin kuin mobeja siinä lähellä, että. Nää puhuu päällekkäin kanssa.
Ympäri on täynnä. Tota. Oh, excellent repairs. Good technique. Isapelin toi äh, käy musta enemmän kuin mä korjaan mun panssareita. Tätäkin voisi käyttää silleen niinku. Nää valkoiset on täysin turhia melkein. Menetään pikkasen rahaa, mutta ei se, ei se paha ole. Sillä pitkät korvat. Merihaltia. Edelleen pelaaja on tappanut sen, niin... on the other side of the chamber. It worked. Secrets remain buried. They gnash with sharpened teeth, claw at the doors. But now, druid laurel, lavender and wood smoke, familiar. And you, battle on the touch of leaves. I kept seed safe, but protections wither. Free is free. Place made by druid king, sang to me. The walls taught me, told me who I am, the sower of the sacred seeds, curator of the regalia. When season is right, I will grow them from the seeds. Expected the seed to be safe here. It was not. The druid king called free from the green, bound us to one day reforge the regalia. So the seeds, when three circles become one, that is my purpose, a tender to the garden. But events are uncertain. The seed is not safe, even here. What can we do? Good. I am thinned, tired, wilting. I have grown too tall. Take the seed to Archdruid Raval, his to nourish now, to protect, slip within the walls, face the storm. Claim the seed and let us leave this place. The seed rests just over there, safe, waiting, a quiet and strong thing, resting in different hands. Give it to Archdruid Raval when we leave here. To take it into the unnatural walls. I do not know. I just know that I alone can grow the seeds. A ritual, hallowed ground, three sacred seeds, three powerful symbols. They will sprout a crown, a staff, and a gauntlet. The Druid King's regalia. 
Perhaps for a new king to wield? Magic? No, not like you're thinking. Symbols of office, authority. Only I can grow. Only I can sow the seeds. The sower. Still, we must keep the seeds safe. Archdruid Orlaith must not claim them. Just in case I am wrong. I... studied. The Stone Lord Druids helped. Talked. They were patient. Kind. The longer I spend with them, sun on leaves, wide smiles, soft hands, laughter like babbling streams, it gets easier to speak the mortal words. To be. Yes, long ago. It was a... sanctuary. Lost to time. But it held answers. The truths of me. The longer I stayed, the more I learned, remembered. My hands alone can ordain. I grow the seeds. Okay, eli, eli niin, Trudy Kuningas on tehnyt no, luonnonhenkien kanssa sopimuksen ja ilmeisesti tämä manttelointi on, se saa jonkinlaisen vallan niin luonnon yli. Eli tämä on mantelointia hyvin samalla tavalla kuin mustien haltijoiden Loressa, Loressa on, mutta niin nimenomaan yksi, yksi tapa kohti. Eräänlainen puoli Jumala tulee siis. Ja samanlainen tarina oli itse asiassa tuossa Crathwoodissa, missä niin kuin oli Wilder King, piti, piti niin kuin Wilder Queenix, se korvattiin Wilder, Wilder Queenillä. Niin tämä on vähän samanlainen tarina, mutta ehkä loppuun asti mietitty. What the dream tells us all. When the druids are ready to be whole. Streams pouring into one river. Not fractured. Not grasping for seeds with bloody fingers. I am awake. But the season is wrong. Mm. You did good, Free. But you look exhausted. Free is fine. All regrows. Laurel friend, take the seed. Return to Glimmertarn with the seed. I'll make sure Free gets out of here safely. Go on ahead to Glimmertarn, my friend. Glimmertarn calls. I hear the fury of flames, the song in the throat of the hills. I will join you soon, once this form renews, once the leaves cease to tremble. Go to Archdruid Raval. Hurry. The Stone Lord have pledged themselves to the defense of Astia. We leave shortly. Our brothers and sisters have arrived, summoned by the beacon. We're just about ready to make the trip to Bastia. We will help defend the walls, and in turn, the walls will defend our injured. Now, Free tells me you carry our sacred seed. Despite the efforts of the Fire Song and the Sea Elf allies, we still possess our sacred seed. I fear this means that the assault on Bastia will begin soon. Now, uh, Sir Stefan, here. That bodes ill. Perhaps you should speak to Andruidkin. Good. Once we hear Stefan's news, I'll order our druids to head for the city. I think Druid Laurel and Free should remain here, however, to guide any stragglers and to keep the nature spirit hidden from Archdruid Orlaith. Thank you again, friend. Good. I made it before you headed out. Friend, we need to speak. Thank the Green I caught you here. I feared I might be too late. The message I bring was too important to give to just anyone. And I know paths across the island that only the druids can walk. But first, what's the situation here? I hoped I could count on Archdruid Raval, but it's good to hear those words. Even with the secret paths, though, it was difficult avoiding our enemies. The wilderness is thick with dread sails and fire song. I assume you helped settle things here. I knew you were the right one to send to Glimmertarn. Thank you for helping Laurel. You're a most valuable ally. 
Here, take this. The least I can do for your continued efforts. Meanwhile, I'll make sure Raval and the Seed get to Vastir safely. Now to the reason I came here to find you. I made contact with Captain Siravain. She agreed to help defend Vastir, but only if she can recover her ship from the Dread Sails. Ah, we'll have to hurry. I'll have a guild the question. Elves and the Fire Song will strike soon. Well, truth be told, she contacted me. Easier to get a message to Castle Mernard than to find a sea elf hiding in the wilderness. When Sea Lord Nalos rejected King Ordnum's orders, he seized Siravain's ship and scattered her crew. She needs our help. Specifically, she requested I send you to help her. She'll meet you on the Castle Tener docks on the western shore. Do whatever you need to, but make sure she recovers her ship. We need the Gilded Blades when the assault on Bastyr begins. Go to the docks near Castle Tener and help Captain Siravain recover her vessel. I'll escort Archdruid Raval back to Vastir, and incorporate the druids into our defenses. Join us there as soon as you can. By the green, we will weather this storm. House Mornard's knights stand ready. The druids will bolster our defenses, but you must bring the Gilded Blades to aid us. Whatever the Fire Song promised them, the Sea Elves are committed. My scouts spotted an armada sailing toward the city. We've never faced such a test, but Vastir's walls are built to withstand punishment. I believe they'll hold and give us the time we need to drive off the invaders. But even the strongest stone can be chipped away at with enough effort. Her message was brief, but she indicated that most of her crew was missing as well. Need but the others do. Or captured, she'll need them back to sail her ship. And we need all of the Gilded Blades to help defend the city. Do whatever you can to make that happen. Archdruid Raval, are you and the Stone Lord ready to depart for Vastir? We are. Laurel? Take free and hide in the wilderness. They cannot fall into Orle's hands. But I... Yes, Archdruid. Okay. I understand. So you're going to help Captain Siravain? I suppose we could use a CL4 ship when the battle starts. Go, friend. With Ifray's blessing. Don't worry about us. We'll be fine. We'll make sure any stragglers and the remaining wounded Elder Tide get to Vastir safely. And those who don't make it in time before the attack gets underway, we'll keep safe here. I don't want to leave Glimmer Tarn totally defenseless. There will undoubtedly be more druids arriving, delayed by something or other. That, and I'd rather not have Free in the middle of a battle. They're capable. But far too valuable to be lost. You have important things asked of you. I understand. Responsibility heavy as rainwater. It soaks. It chills. Go with strength. The sun will persevere. Druid Laurel wishes it. Battle is too sharp. Loud. The city soil. Harsh. Full of salt. No place for a nourisher. I am better here. Protector. In defense of Glimmer Tarn. Strength here, too. Okay. Sitten täytyy... Vesteren Shorn on tuolla. Meidän täytyy ensiksi niinku purkaa noi. Tää vähän taskoja, mutta tossa on itse asiassa lähimpänä näköjään tuommoinen kräftäyspaikka, niin tossa voi itse asiassa purkaa kaikki tyhjät, tyh turhat tyhjät. Mä en mennyt ensiksi sisään, kun tässä oli nää merihaltioiden tunnukset, mä näköjään täällä nyt ei oo ketään. Tässä on myöskin niinku toi Simera Shepjyksetti. Magika Stamina Heltti Sekasetti. Joka, joka niinku... Lataa, lataa kaverit, okei. Okay. 
your life or your jewels. Uh, give me your coin and um, you, you won't get the point in. Uh, no? Ah! 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 No, no, no. Give me your purse or I'll halt. Uh, your gold. Can I have it, please? Um, yes, uh, you have the gold and I have the knife, so if you don't mind just, uh, handing it over, then we can both go our separate ways and I won't have to stab you in any of your bits. Well, that sounds very nice now, doesn't it? Is it that obvious? <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. I'm the one who's armed here, so, uh, give me your jewels. My captain marooned me here. Said I couldn't return to the ship until I proved I could earn my keep. So here I am, uh, you know, earning or uh, trying to earn. A bit. Will you please just hand me your valuables? Yeah, but this guy's a good type. Uh, is is that a threat? Because I mean, it's very convincing. Uh, you're not going to punch me, are you? Tämä on tämmöinen väsykkä, niin on heitetty pois laivalta. Yleensä ne on semmosia väkivaltaisia, ne on merihaltijat, mutta tää on vähän erilainen. Ah, so the Lordling got my message. I doubted he'd turn down the idea of having my ship at his side, but one can never be too certain. Now, I hope you came prepared to fight. Things are about to get ugly. I intend to make sure of it. That's right. See it down there? Those bastards chained the Mad Maiden to the dock and placed my crew under guard. The dread sails have already set sail for Vastir. If you want my help in the battle, I need both my ship and my crew. We need to work in tandem. I'll get my crew while you free the Mad Maiden. Cut the mooring lines and drop the harbor chain so we're ready to set sail the moment my crew is free. They left some slimy eels on guard. Think you're up for it? <laughs> I knew you had salt water in your blood. Cut the four moorings binding my ship. Then head to the far dock to release the harbor chain so we can sail to Bastyr. You'll have to take the platforms to get down there. Go on. Remember, the moorings need to be cut and the harbor chain needs to be dropped or we're not going anywhere. Take care of that, then we can sail for Bastyr. Your lordling will need all the help he can get to withstand the coming assault. I'm not going anywhere while Sea Lord Nalo still lives. I could never return to King Orgnum while he draws breath. I don't care how many sea elves that beast has lured to his side. He dies by my hand. Do I look worried? He's a coward and a traitor, as are those who follow him. I'm not afraid of him. He should fear me. It doesn't matter how many blades he surrounds himself with. Once I have the Mad Maiden back, I'll see him dead. Someone's got to defend the home port. Even a slime like Sea Lord Nalos knows that. They're more of the lowly scum who spit in the face of King Orgnum. They'll put up a fight, though, same as the ones you faced in Castle Taner. When Sea Lord Nalos rejected the orders I brought from King Orgnum, he didn't have the decency to kill me. He seized my ship and scattered my crew, so I couldn't do a damn thing about it. Some were sent to serve on other ships, but most were lost. I'll meet you on the deck of the Mad Maiden. Don't mess this up. Okay.
Vähän hidas taito, mutta kyllä tää ihan hyvä on. Ouch. I see the moorings have been cut. What about the harbor chain? Everyone, to your stations. Mercenary, get below decks and stay out of the way. Next port, Bastille. Pari meritaistelua on ollut niin kuin, tässä pelissä, mutta ei ole ollut sen enempää päässyt niin kuin, liikkumaan. Ja tossa on se laiva ja tässä on laivavene. Aha. Kiva. <laughs> no se lähti. Aha, täällä alko bileet. Friend, we need to find my father. Kokki osaa tiirikoida. Tässä sinä menee aikaa? How goes the battle? Not well. The city's been overrun. I'm glad to see you and Stefan. We could use your strength. My knights and the druids have been holding their own. But the sea elves, they arrived in such numbers. I need you to find the arch druids. I think the dread sails are hunting them. We heard some of their warbands talking. Something about finding the druid relics. I'm glad for the warriors. But did they have to bring their damn religion <laughs> into my city too? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I need you to find Arch Druids Revol and Elek. Keep them safe. I'm not sure about Revol, but I saw Arch Druid Elek heading for the old Druid tunnels. Follow those, and you should find him. Lord Bukaro and I are taking people to the cathedral. Besides the castle, it's the most defensible place in the city. Head east. And you'll find an entrance to the old druid tunnels. Damn things were here long before we built the city. If you find Elek and Revol, send them to the cathedral. We're gathering all the non-combatants there for their safety. Bretonnialaisilla on jokilainen tapa rakentaa druidipaikkojen päälle. Bastille was built atop an old druid settlement. The tunnels that extend below the foundations of the city are all that remain of it. Some of them have collapsed over time, but many are still passable. There's an entrance just up ahead to the east. Not long. We're holding our own, but the city wasn't built to withstand an armada of this magnitude. The castle and cathedral will endure at least. The rest? I fear we'll be looking at rubble before long if we don't turn back the invaders. We're better off than we would have been if we'd been surprised. And the extra warriors help. The bastards would have taken Bastia quickly without them. We had defenders and a bit of foresight. That at least gave us a fighting chance. Send the wounded mm. and any non-combatants to the cathedral. They'll be safe there. When you find the archdruids, send them to the cathedral. Count Morard and I will head there shortly. It's the best place to defend the injured and the non-combatants in the city. 
Stay safe, my friend. If it wasn't one of the Sea Elf's primary targets, yes. But the Cathedral has stout walls and strong doors. And few enemies will risk angering the gods by attacking a holy place. Trust me, it is the safest place for the injured and non-combatants. Aika hyviä nämä merihaltijat sitten loppujen lopuksi tekemään maihin nousuja. These are the tunnels my father mentioned. The sea elves are already here. We must find Archdruid Elek. We need to find Archdruid Elek. Kärmellisko poira. No fire song saattaa nää tunnelit myöskin tietää. You shall not pass. Strength almost left me at the end, but I, I failed. I wasn't able to stop them from taking our sacred seed. It's gone. I don't know. We got separated, but they're going after Raval as well. You have to find him. We cannot let the Fire Song lay claim to all three of the sacred seeds. There's no telling what would happen. The house of the city gods? Yes, of course. I'll head there immediately. The walls should offer adequate protection. Now go. Help Archdruid Raval. Well, they've barricaded the main streets, but there's a shortcut to the west and up the stairs. Head that way and see if you can find him. And may Ifre protect you, outsider. Be careful. You have the strength of mountains, but even the sea can wear down stone. If Ray's grace guides you quickly to Raval's side. Most of them were scattered throughout the city once the attack began. Many are helping the House Mornard Knights defend against the Dreadsails. I'll gather everyone I can who isn't fighting on my way to the Cathedral. Archdruid Elek, allow me to escort you to the Cathedral. Friend, I'll rejoin you once the Archdruid is safe. Well, look who you found. Care for another blade at your side? Okay. Nää pistää aika hyvin pannuun noita. Jaha, se on tossa.
get them. <laughs> Se potkasee ton alas. Iso pelle tykkäs. That felt damned good. But celebrating can come later. Let's keep going. Something's happening up ahead. Druidi paikalta. Archdruid Orlais, return the sacred seeds. Let Raval and the seeds go, Orlais. You have lost Raval. Today your blood allows the dream to come to pass. Druid kin, you must protect free. Uh huh. Raval, damn you! A new age of green begins here. Okay. When next we meet, you will bow to me, the new druid king. Aha. Keep it there. I'm no help with things like this. Fine. Okay, Siravan. Siravan, out to me. No, no, help me! We have to dig them out. Barely. Escaped the collapse. Gods, how did this happen? I still can't believe what happened. I thought it would be years until I assumed my father's title. I'm not. I don't think I'm ready. Dream preserve us. First arch to it, Rapal, and now. Now my father's father under all that rubble. Please, you have to help me. There must be survivors. Why are you just standing there? No, you're wrong. You must be. Stand there if you like, but I won't abandon them. I refuse to leave them. My father, Archdruid Raval, even Archdruid Alec. All gone. This can't be small comfort to the survivors. And to the dead. Apologies, my friend. I need a, I need a moment. Niet, to on ainoa arkituridi nyt tää fire song. There are things to do, but I saw Sarah Vane go toward the gate. Find her before she vanishes. We could still use her help. Tää otti koko sitten se aika aika nopeasti. To Waka will guide us through these. Well, you won the day. The city is safe. Doesn't feel much like a victory, though, does it? Did you talk to the Lordling? I doubt he's faring well. Death always cuts the softest ones deepest. I'll try not to celebrate Narlos's demise too loudly. My people are like a pack of wild dogs. With a strong leader to guide us, we'll fight to our last breath. But without one, our fury dissipates. Once Sea Lord Narlos fell and the Fire Songs abandoned them, the remaining dread sails fled. You've bigger things to worry about than my intentions, but the Lordling is right. You do need me. Look, you helped recover my ship and crew, helped me kill Nalos. Why don't you head to the castle? Check on the Lordling. I'm not going anywhere. Death should never make anyone happy. Sea Lord Nalos had to die. Simple as that. Am I glad that my blade tasted his blood at the end? Yes. I had a vow to fulfill, and now it's done. To King Orgnum, yes, and to my brother. 
I hope Nalos saw my brother's face as we cut him down. Now go take care of your own mercenary. I'm sure the Lordling could use a friend right now. Excellent. All of Thank you for your assistance. I'm looking for Dame Feta. Ah. Uh, the knights protecting the cathedral district during the attack. Ah. Uh, We're still sorting this all out. As soon as I have news about Dame Feta, I'll send word to you. Ah, thank you very much. Of course, I understand. After the cathedral collapsed, I just want to know that she's safe. I'll check back later. I don't seem to be making much progress. I got Sir Stefan to return to the castle. Talk to me before you go see him. Horrible. So much death, so much suffering. Young Stefan lost two fathers today, and the city lost even more. I keep asking myself why I survived when so many others perished. But I wanted to talk to you before you go in to see Sir Stefan. That is unclear. He lost a father today, as well as a mentor that was just as precious to him. We may have won this battle, but Archdruid Orlaith has all three sacred seeds. Speak with Stefan, Count Monard, now. He must decide how we move forward. There you are. I apologize for my behavior earlier. I was out fighting when the cathedral collapsed. I've never heard such a sound. And the quiet that came after. It was like drowning. So many druids lost their lives. And the archdruids, they didn't deserve this. Tava's breath, what a mess. So much death and destruction this day. I can't believe my father and archdruid Raval are gone. Two men who shaped me, snuffed out like two candles in a strong wind. And now archdruid Orlaith has all three seeds. By the green, what are we to do? That's some good news. Focusing on what we've won rather than what we've lost is the only way to not fall into despair. Bastyr still stands, safe because of our efforts. And though we've been dealt a terrible blow, all hope is not lost. By honoring the legacy of my two mentors, my father and Archdruid Raval. Now that Vastir is safe, we can concentrate on stopping the Fire Song. But before that, you helped save my city from utter ruin. Take this, with my heartfelt thanks. Dozens of people lie dead in the Cathedral's rubble, including my father. I know I must carry on. Yet Archdruid Orlaith, she also took my mentor, the person I counted on my whole life. She murdered Raval. We must end Orlaith's madness. Somehow, I can't leave Vastir. Someone has to pick up the pieces, and that responsibility now falls on me. Find Druid Laurel. She needs to know that Archdruids Raval and Elig are dead. That Orlaith and the Firesong have the sacred seeds. Me. She told us as the cathedral collapsed. She's going to proclaim herself the new druid king. But while she has the seeds, 
She still needs the soul. Only free. Yeah. Free has a part to play in all this, but they'll need your help. Find them, friend. Keep them safe. Laurel and Free remained at Glimmer Tarn to direct Stonelore stragglers and to avoid the fire song. Make speed, friend. If Archdruid Orlaith seeks the sower mentioned in the dream, both Laurel and Free are in danger. I can't bear to lose Laurel, too. Obviously, it had something to do with the quake we experienced, but why only one structure fell, I just don't know. It does show that the volcano is becoming more dangerous. Raval said it was because the Firesong were neglecting their duties. Until recently, Firesong druids rarely left Ephelon. They communed with Mount Firesong's spirit, singing it back to sleep when it grew restless. Or so I was taught by the Stone Lore. They've always been secretive about their vigil on Ephelon. Mount Firesong has rumbled my entire life. I wonder if it was the stirring of the volcano that woke Orlaith instead. The dream of Kasserain mentions the mountain. Perhaps it was the sign she was waiting for. Is there anywhere I can guarantee free safety? Archdruid Orlaith laid siege to Vastir to get the sacred seeds. She will come for free. I trust Laurel to make sure free isn't easy to find, but that puts Laurel in danger too. Yes, of course. Laurel is... It ...a close friend. I doubt Orlaith would harm free. She thinks she needs the spirit. But we saw how Orlaith deals with anyone who interferes with her ambitions. I don't want to see Laurel share Raval's fate. As much as I want to confront Archdruid Orlaith at your side, I have responsibilities. I'm heir to my father's title and his duties. From this day forth, I must think of the people of Galen first. They need to see that House Mornard still stands. <laughs> 